a few words about the book uh, Consciousness Beyond Life, written by Dr. Pim Van Lona. As a cardiologist, he noticed so-called a near-death experience of his patients during cardiac arrest. I know that it is difficult to accept that those patients uh, had consciousness while they were clinically dead. Modern medicine teaches us that consciousness is mere brain function that disappears at death. And so is with any artificial understanding. Whatever we believe seems to be true. Mind accepts information that fit into that understanding and discards other. Let me have a look what Dr. Lomel has to say about his discoveries. Well, I'm a cardiologist, so uh, I had the privilege to have a lot of patients who survived cardiac arrest. That is how it started for me. So I have when I started to ask patients the question if they could remember something from the period of consciousness from clinical death. To my big surprise, there were quite a lot of patients who had this experience, what is called now a near-death experience, which is an enhanced consciousness uh, with self-identity, with cognition, with emotions, with memories from early childhood, with future events, with the meeting of deceased relatives, or experience a tunnel or a light, a life review, or even the possibility of having perception out and above the lifeless body. So for me, what I had learned, it is impossible to experience consciousness when the brain is not functioning. It is pretty understandable that someone who has experience uh, that death doesn't exist changes his world view significantly. Specific transformation only for patients who have a near death experience. They lose the fear of death. There's both no death. I was still there. They have a new insight of what is in important in life. It's about love. It's about acceptance. First to start with, with your own negative aspects, which is hard enough, and then love, unconditioned love towards others and to planet Earth. And the third aspect of transformation is to enhance intuitive sensibility, which you can call the non-local information exchange. They have instantaneously contact with the feelings of other people. They know future events, they know when, when someone will, will die. And it is uh, so hard to accept this kind of information which you receive not by your senses or not by your body. It's the non-local information. And so Dr. Lona has come to the conclusion that uh, consciousness creates reality. I know, I know, for most of us that sounds pretty unbelievable. That is okay. But that vision couldn't be just accepted because Dr. Lona said so. It takes years and years of cleaning all beliefs to the point where somebody can see if that is true or not. As a living uh, uh, person, we experience consciousness. And uh, in my opinion, consciousness is fundamental in the universe. And everything we experience, also the material aspects of the universe, come from our consciousness. Understanding that there is consciousness after death doesn't serve to overcome fear of death. This discovery has huge impact on the whole understanding of human life. When you know that uh, there's no death, there's a continuity of the essence of who you are. You live difference. The, so uh, the concept you have about death uh, makes how you live. So the, the, the material, external aspects of life, uh, competition, money, big car, young, young body, etc. It isn't important anymore. It's about uh, 
empathy, compassion towards others, toward the planet Earth. So uh, it changed a lot. Okay, these words should not be understood literally. Of course, we need money, beautiful things, and so on. I think the main message is that no more valuable goal could be attained that understanding the nature of love and consciousness.